Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you how to go back to literally any patch ever in Rivals. I also forgot to mention that you can play any of these patches online with your friends as long as they have that patch. I know Definitive Edition is coming out soon, TM, but uh, maybe sometimes you want to go back to previous patches that you haven't been able to play in like a really long time. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. So, you see how if you go to Steam and you go to Rivals and you hit Properties, drag this over here, and you hit Betas, how it only goes back to like 1.0 or like if you scroll down and you go to, um, what was it, the Early Access Launch, uh, you can go back to any point in between those with this method that I'm going to show you guys. So the first thing I want you to do so you don't screw anything up, because I did this and I had to backtrack a lot to make sure I didn't lose all my stuff, um, as far as like stats, is I need you to hit the Windows key and R at the same time. And go to users and then whatever your username is and then app data local and then rivals of ether so you're gonna hit that and you're gonna get this window here whenever you get this window you need to copy um, the stuff in your saves so go to saves and copy your stats progression and profile your custom keyboard controls don't really matter because you can just reset those at any point in time and your custom colors is like literally whatever custom color you want to make it so you should probably have those codes saved somewhere so after you copy these three, before you do anything, put them in like a safe folder. Uh, something like my tags or, or something for rivals. Because going back to these previous patches, it's random, but um, sometimes it gets rid of all that. And I don't know why. Okay, so now that you've done that, let's get to the next step. The next step is we have to find rivals Vether and all this old stuff. So how do we find it? We go to the Steam database. Go to your Steam database and hit steamdb.info. Once you're there, type in Rivals of Ether. After you find Rivals of Ether, make sure you go to the game section and hit 383980. So this right here is what you would call an app ID. I need you to copy this number and put it somewhere safe and tuck it away nicely. After you're done getting the app ID, you need to go to depots. Whenever you go to depots, you have to find Rivals of Ether content. Click this, 383981. Once you're done clicking that, you're gonna see this depot ID. I need you to copy this too and put this somewhere safe as well. When you're done with that, you're gonna go to manifest. All of these numbers, these are all patches, whether they were hot fixes, or just the big patches going all the way back to September 22nd, 2015, which is patch 0.0.2. .0 so if you want to see what rivals look like back then and you weren't playing back then, you can grab this ID here and you can play it. And I'm going to show you how. So all these dates, you're like, well, I didn't remember the patch dates. Well, I have a solution for you. Go to Reddit. Whenever you go to the rivals Reddit, type in whatever patch you can think of that you really liked. Personally me, I like patch 15.0 because maple drill. So I type in patch 15.0, I hit search. Once I hit search, we'll, we'll just hit it here. Once you hit search, you scroll down a little bit and you see right here, update 15.0, gotta go fast, four years ago. So click it. It's right here, here's your date. Dan, thank you for putting the date. Thank God. Uh, August 5th, 2016. So then we go back to the Steam database and we scroll down to 2016. And then we find August. Look, August 5th, th August 5th is right here. I don't know what happened. I just... <laughs> if there's other ones that you just, you want to find, you can actually click Dan's name. You can right click it, open it up in a new tab. And he has all his stuff here. So if I'm just randomly scrolling and I'm just going down and I'm like, okay, well, I want to find uh, the Edelus release patch. You would hit control F and then you just hit 13.0 because that's the patch that Edelus was released on. Um, if you don't remember these patches and like the numbers and stuff, you can kind of just scroll through 
on Dan's profile, and it's covered up until... Is it 1.4.0? It's like around here. So like the 1.0 patch, the 1.4, and that's like the extent of, of how far it'll go on here. And then once you grab all those, you're going to have this code here that you should copy. I'm going to have this in the description. So this is for the two things that we're going to be using. We're going to be using uh, .NET and Depot Downloader. So that number I told you earlier, 383980, that's your app ID. You need that. So grab that and it's going to be here. This can also just be for literally any game that you want to go back in patches. Then you have your uh, Depot ID here and this is the manifest number. The manifest number stands for all the patches. Username is you, password is also yours. So, um, Also in between each of these, make sure there is a single space in between each like section, like username, uh, and then after username put a space, and then password, and so on and so forth. So, now that you have that, copy that from the description, put it somewhere safe. Okay, so now we gotta get to the stuff that we have to download so we can get to the rivals. This is going to be the first one, .NET. Don't worry, I'm going to have all these links in the description. If something happens in the description, I'll put it in the comments or something like that. And it'll be in a pinned comment. So, go to um, the link there, and you're going to want to download .NET Core 3.1 recommended. After that's done, it's going to take probably like anywhere from 2 to 5 minutes, depending on your computer speed. You're going to go to uh, the GitHub, and you're gonna get this depot downloader. You're gonna download this zip right here. Not the source code, not the other source code, the depot downloader. So click it, and then save it. And then after it's done saving, you're gonna go to it, and you're gonna drag it, the easiest way, to your desktop. That way you can have rivals on your desktop. Alright, so once you're done with that, you're going to make a brand new folder wherever the hell you want. So I'm just going to call this Old Rivals. Please. <laughs> so take this folder, open it up, drag Depot Downloader in here, and then after you're done dragging Depot Downloader in here, you're going to hit Extract Here. So once all this stuff is done extracting, now you have all this stuff and you have no idea what it means and that's perfectly fine, because neither do I. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your little address bar, make sure this is highlighted, and you're going to hit CMD. That's going to bring up this command prompt. Now before we go any further, make sure you saved your stats and all that other stuff. Pause the video, go back and find it, because if you didn't do it, you're gonna lose it all, and it's gonna be hell trying to get it back, because it was hell for me. Okay, now that you're back, you're gonna have this right here. So remember how I told you to copy that stuff earlier from the description for like the generic code? Here it is here. So you're going to copy this, obviously you're gonna replace your this word with your username and password with your password, and you are going to throw it into there and you're going to hit enter. Alright, so once it's all there, hit the enter button. Boom. Okay, now, if you have Steam Guard up, make sure you open up your email and find the Steam code that they sent you. Enter it, and then after that, Rivals will start downloading. Now, this is going to take a few minutes, so I'll be back whenever it's done. It'll probably take anywhere from like two to four minutes. Alright, once the stuff in Rivals is done, this is what it should look like. 
So you're gonna close that. Now there's another folder. This one's called depots. And now there's some stuff and you just don't get it. These numbers. Oh wait, that's like the app ID or the uh, the other ID. So you're gonna click it, click it again, and then wait for all this stuff to load. For some reason, this is what happens. I, I guess maybe it's just clearing all your stuff. So make sure you saved all your, <laughs> your data inside. All right, so you're gonna scroll down to Rivals of Ether. Now, before I go any further, if you're downloading multiple patches, you can create another folder because whatever patch you throw in here, it's gonna erase the previous one. So if you want multiple patches, I suggest you make another folder, like I did, for old Rivals patches, and just put the list in there. So I have like 2, 9, 13, 15, 15.8, and a bunch of other stuff. So, whenever you're done with that, make your little folder, and then now you can open up, and the way you're going to copy it is you're just going to copy this folder here, and then put it in that new folder, and then just rename it whatever patch you want, because this doesn't really matter. It's not going to screw anything up. Okay, now that we're done with that, let's open up Rivals. And here is Rivals opening up, and hopefully it's patch 15. And look at that, it's patch 15. Thank God I didn't screw it up. Okay, so if you still don't believe me, look at this. Story mode, abyss mode, locked. We don't have it. Oh my God, it's only the eight characters in a cast. What a perfect cast. And then these are all the things, they're gone. So you have to make your new profile. All right, Maple. It's in basic. Go to stage. Look at that! It's Maple with Drill! I love it! All right, well, <laughs> I wanna thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope it helped a lot. For anyone that's trying to do anything with old patches and show some old stuff, I hope this helps you out as well. Um, if you guys like the video, make sure to leave a like. I hope it was super informative for you. Um, also, come drop me a follow on Twitch because I'm going to start playing some old patches on my streams and stuff uh, with some friends. And I hope to see you guys there. Definitive Edition is coming soon. But for now, I'm just going to go back to old patches until then and just have fun with all the old stuff that was broken. You think Raster's broken now? Go back to, like, forever ago. Alright guys, y'all take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.